Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing you a very special breakdown of the AFC Divisional Breakdown of the Chiefs taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get an update of every single video we do on the YouTube channel. So you can get that alert, and then you can watch some of the great videos. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the game action. Coming into this game, man, 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 we saw exactly how special Antonio Brown and Bell are for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You look at exactly from the run game, what Bell did. He was a very, uh, 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 very good runner on that day today. Uh, he did not only great things in the running game, he was a decoy for the passing game. You saw several different things open up once Antonio Brown scored those two touchdowns. I mean, screen plays for 50 yards, uh, just getting loose down the field for 40 more yards. The, the wide receiver play was magnificent. Also, the blocking for the Pittsburgh still is wideouts. Those guys are playing hard. Big Ben did get hurt late in that football game, but I doubt if Big Ben will miss this big playoff game against the Kansas City Chiefs. You're going to Arrowhead Stadium. Let me just break this down for you. Arrowhead Stadium is possibly the most loudest stadium in the NFL. The, the fans there are, are rabid Kansas City Chiefs fans. You're looking at Alex Smith and company coming in there with Travis Kelsey at the tight end position and such, and what they're able to do. Hill is going to be big for this team, whether it's special teams, whether it's offense, whether he's running the football, whether he's playing wide receiver. He's going to get the ball in their hands. Andy Reid is looking for a way to make sure not only that he gets the ball into Hill's hands, but he's making sure he's going left to right. He's making sure he's playing all different kind of positions. They're going to use him similar to the way that they used to use Jamal Charles, the running back that's hurt for the Chiefs, but similar where he's all over the field. He can come out the backfield. He can uh, return kicks, punts, all kind of things. The, the more times you get his hands on a football, the more times you're getting possible touchdowns each and every play. You're looking at the defense for the Chiefs. Opportunistic. Eric Berry and company are coming. These guys are very special. They're playing fantastic football. Eric Berry, inspirational story, but the guy will lay you on your back if you come across that middle. You look at the Pittsburgh Steelers defense and James Harrison and company, Shazir and company, they've been playing on top of the world, lights out. They've been getting uh, turnovers. You look at the way that they dominate the Miami Dolphins and, and just exactly what they did to win that football game. But I have to break it down to you. It's a little stat. Being a Philadelphia Eagle fan, I know a little bit something about this. When Andy Reid has two weeks or more to prepare for an opponent, he's 3-0. That says to me that Andy Reid not only does his homework, he breaks down the film study, he not goes through the progressions, but he makes sure his team is prepared for play on football Sunday or Saturday, whatever day they're playing. So, Overall, the offense of the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers is going to come in here hot, ready to go. Weather's not going to be an issue because Pittsburgh is an outside cold weather team too. So it's not like they're playing an indoor dome team. The, both these teams are used to playing in the cold. It's going to be very cold. Kansas City is going to have the advantage because having the red fans there and you look at the wall of red you're going to see. Yes, the Pittsburgh Steelers fans will travel well. Yes, you'll see some terrible towels, but you're going to see the red ocean around them. And I think that's going to be a big factor. Big Ben being hurt a little bit is also going to uh, be a factor in this one. But uh, Poe, Houston, these guys are going to come at Big Ben, and they're not just going to lightly tap Big Ben. They're going to try to hurt Big Ben. I think that overall, when you look at this, Antonio Brown and company, they were playing in friendly confines in Pittsburgh. The crowd was on their side. That gave them a large boost, and I think that in this game, you're going to see the Kansas City Chiefs upset the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. I thought that I know that the Chiefs are the higher seed, but a lot of people with the offensive firepower and things like that, they're thinking of the Steelers as uh, uh, the the possibly the favorite in this one. So I'm I'm looking at Kansas City. They have the background at home. They're going to have Andy Reid who prepares well. I think that Alex Smith is going to make the necessary throws. He's going to find the holes in the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, which is a bend don't break. They're not elite, but bend don't break. I think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be on this one. I think they're going to pull out the victory. It's going to be a very close game. It's going to be an ugly game. I don't think it's going to be a lot of big plays down the field like that, like they had against the Miami Dolphins, because the Chiefs defense can actually tackle. So all you Kansas City fans, all you Steelers fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. Also check out Just My Picks for all the breaking news and all the hottest updates in sports. And as always, thank you so very much for tuning in. Check us out next week. We're breaking down the AFC and NFC wild card breakdown right before the Super Bowl. So leave your comments below. Check us out. And thank you so very much. See you next week.